I'm a dad. Okay. Which makes me highly qualified to share with you guys six Amazon Father's Day gift ideas that are under $50 and also good. It's not a tie or a pen or I don't know, what's the worst Father's Day gift idea you ever gave your dad? No offense to people who have already purchased ties and pens. <laughs> yeah. But that was a bad idea. Try to make this video ahead of time so you don't make those mistakes because that's what I do. You're welcome. I'm gonna start wearing clothes like a his dad. I feel like it makes the grill look a little better. You love your cardboard cutter more than your family. I like big tongues. This is a 16 piece multi-tool that has a belt loop, which is the coolest part about any multi-tool. And essential for dads. Yeah, you've gotta have a tool on your belt for Saturday chores, for making stuff around the house. For everyday life. Yeah. Man, I feel like 90s dads were like the dads, but I'm like not like a 90s dad. That's just because you're a 90s baby. Yeah. So that's what yeah. your dad is. So, yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. Okay, so this thing has a hammer on it. It has a knife on it. It has a file on it. It has a bottle opener on it. It has window breaker on it, it has a seatbelt cutter on it, and then it has, and then it has pliers on it. Why are you laughing at me? No reason. Why? Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. That was funny. Oh, thanks. It's that got- That you couldn't open it. Oh. So the funny part was the, the thing that you're making fun of me about. Not, not me just being funny. You get it now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a file, pliers. The pliers have cutters on it. It's got a serrated knife and a sharp knife on it. Really nice pliers. I forget that I have these nice pliers. Even the other day I was like, I don't have a good set of pliers, but heck yeah, I do. Oh, Allen wrenches on it, bottle opener on it, a nail. Hammer? No, a remover? nail remover. I don't think that's how you remove a nail. Yeah, it is. You put it right here and then you pull it out. Okay, I was visualing the nail underneath and that was just like, <laughs> no, that was wrong. Yeah. yeah, that would make sense if that's how you visualized it incorrectly. It's kind of hilarious that you're the one that still looks silly in all this. Boom, roasted. Boom. Roasted. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I really like about this is that it's made well, it works well, it looks good, and I look forward as I get older and more dad-like. I'm gonna become a 90s dad. I'm gonna start wearing clothes like a 90s dad. I've mowed no. the lawn, I've mowed the lawn three times in the last week and a half. So that means something. I'm well on my way. I'm obsessed with my lawn. Good work. Yeah. Okay, number two is this rubber grill map that I put under all the grills that I have and that I will ever have because I had one house where I didn't have one under the smoker and the cement got so gross. There's just a lot of stuff that comes off of meat, whether it's the actual meat or all the juices. So it's nice to have something underneath the grill that can protect it. It's super affordable, it works well, it's easy to clean, it's really strong. I feel like it makes the grill look a little better. Here. It's like that's its dedicated space. Do you think so? Oh yeah. This is like an outdoor kitchen right here. Ready to go. Okay, number three is my set of Dream Farm barbecue accessories. It's the spatula, the flatula. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This is the chopula. It's a spatula that you can cut with. And what I also like about this is that when you set it down on something, like let's say you set it down here, it's got this little groove to keep the spatula off the surface. Fantastic. The tongs do the same thing, and these can also cut. And these are really big, too. I love I like how big, big these are. What? I like big tongs. <clears throat> yeah, me too. And I like how far away from the heat these will keep you. Cause you don't want any dinky ones when you're messing around with the heat. That's for sure. And then you also have a baster that also has that groove here. All of this comes with this. It's a little magnet so you can stick it right on the side of your grill. You've got a bottle opener right here and then hooks to place these on. Fantastic. 
Number four is this handy dandy cardboard cutter. You can use this for other things like fabric, but honestly, like when we have piles of boxes, this is the only thing that's gonna help me get all of these boxes in the trash can. Plus, your dads will love this on Christmas morning. So good at opening up plastic packaging that is so hard to open. And when you've got all those boxes, you just slice them up. It's honestly the highlight of my Christmas. Rude. Rude, that's my personal highlight. I've got other highlights as well. Is that fair? You love your cardboard cutter more than your family? Well, yeah, no. No. <laughs> Look at how well this works, okay? It's just like a little saw blade. You just, it does have a safety, it's got a safety here, and then you turn it on with that one. Game over. Focus. It's so fun. I could do this for hours, and sometimes I do. Big boxes, little boxes. It's so good. So fun. You just gotta make sure you get the right leverage. But once you do, game over. I love it. This is the drop stop seat gap filler. It's the best car accessory that you can have in your car because what you do is you put this around the seat belt, stuff it in between the space of the center console and the seat, and then you'll never drop things underneath your seat ever again. What like, is it called? It's the, the devil's crack, if you will? Yeah, the devil's crack, the great abyss, the great unknown. What do you guys call it? It's the worst place in a car imaginable. I can't think of anything else. Worse than that? Yeah, it's awful. I've lost my phone under there so many times. Goes, like slides out of my pocket, goes down, and then it's gone forever. Forever. For it's fantastic, it's like 20 bucks and I think all cars should have one. So buy this for your dad. If he doesn't already have it already, be shocked if he didn't, honestly. Number six is this portable compact tire and ball pump. It's like a mini compressor. And also, you know what's really cool? Gotta turn it on, it's got a flashlight on it. I, I've been known to get pretty excited about little features that people add onto products that just make it you know, a little bit better. This little guy will pump up your car tire, it'll pump up your motorcycle tire, your bike tire, and balls, and it has preset PSI levels for all of those things. It's easy to charge up with the USB-C. It comes with the cord that you need to attach it to everything. And then it also comes with different attachments for bikes, for inflatables. Comes with the charging cord. I'm just, I just wanna, I'm just I'm trying to remember how to turn on the flashlight. There it is, I did it. That's pretty cool, right? It's super cool. I think it's so nice to have. I just keep it like in the garage or in the car at all times. That way you've got it when you need it. Good for emergencies, but also good for just, you know, around the house, around the garage. Taking care of business, taking names. What? Kicking butt. What? I'm so happy that you like your gift that the girls got you this year. Is this thing I bought a long time ago? <laughs> gift? Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. You are? I mean, all these. That will help me maintain the easiness of gift giving. Sometimes I say things and I'm like, how did that come out of my mouth? Even that, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Just stop talking. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, uh, love you, bye. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Dreams have failed. Yeah. What a good life. I know. Here are four, or four, six. <laughs> no, I got this. You just need to bring the energy from within. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Meat juice. Ew, I don't like the sound of meat juice. Yeah, I mean, maybe I shouldn't say meat juice. <laughs> juice for meat. Drippings for meat. Hey, yo, what the f It's cheap, it's easy to clean. Did I say cheap? Yeah. But does that make it sound like cheap? Does cheap make it sound like cheap? Yeah. You didn't say thanks for watching. I already said thanks for watching. You stole my line. Yeah, I'm sorry.